Deep in the saw palmetto dominated understories of pine scrub habitats in South and Central Florida lives the red widow spider, a mysterious, elusive, and little known spider species with a potentially deadly venom. Today, we are out here in one of these white sand scrub habitats with one goal in mind, to safely handle one of these beautiful spiders and show that these highly venomous beauties are nothing to be afraid of. Now, these spiders set up their webs almost all the time on these saw palmettos. So the way we have to look for these is by scanning through all these little saw palmettos that are covering the ground, gently pulling on the palm fronds one by one until we inevitably reveal the web of one of these beautiful spiders. All right, I thought we already had ourselves a red widow web this quickly, uh, but this actually turned out to be the web of some sort of funnel weaver spider in the genus Baronopsis. Not to be confused with the highly venomous funnel web spiders, funnel weaver spiders are small and harmless relatives to the wolf spiders. Well, this is obviously not what we're looking for. This is still my first time ever seeing a funnel weaver spider, so this was still quite exciting. All right, let's continue looking. After a lot more walking, scanning through these patches of these saw palmettos, and basically finding everything in these palm fronds except for red widows, our chances were looking slim. But finally, we found a sign of one of these amazing spiders, a web. All right, children, my heart is absolutely racing right now. You see this web right here? Well, inside palm frond is a gigantic, nice looking female red widow spider. Now this is a lifer for me, but also an extraordinarily rare species to come across because of their extremely specific habitat preference of living in these saw palmettos in Florida scrub habitats like this. What I'm doing right now is gently slipping a pine needle in through the back end of the spider's web to try and lure her out into the open where it will be easier to see her and handle her. There she is. This, now sitting perfectly open in the sunlight, is the red widow spider, Latrodectus bishopi, a species I've been wanting to see for years and a species that not very many people can ever say that they've seen throughout their lifetime. Now that the spider is finally fully out in the open, my guess that this was a female has been confirmed as correct. Males of the species would have a similar overall pattern, but would be a little smaller, with a much narrower abdomen, and more noticeably, a pair of palpal bulbs, or structures used in mating. Pedipalps of a spider are the small leg-like structures near the edges of the spider's mouth. A male's palpal bulbs would make these pedipalps look clubbed tips, which she is obviously lacking. Also, while I was 100% sure that this was a red widow, just based on the shape of the web, seeing it out in the open can really confirm looking at that absolutely unmistakable pattern. So many animals with red in their name are actually more of like an orangish or brown, but the name red widow is not lying. The red coloration on this spider is absolutely brilliant in the sunlight, especially against the contrast of the black base color of its abdomen. All right, now let's get this spider in hand. All right, children. I cannot believe what I'm holding right here. Now my hands are shaking, not because I'm nervous that this thing is gonna bite, but just genuinely just cannot make this into like feeling like it's anything real that's actually happening right now. This is an incredibly rare species of spider that very, very, very little people have ever had the privilege of seeing in their life. And I just can't believe I'm actually holding right now. So, and horse flies keep landing on me. I'm more worried about the horse flies biting me than the spider to be honest. So. This red widow right here is actually in the genus Latrodectus, which is the same genus as the brown widow that I featured before and the black widow. So just, you can imagine that this thing also has about the same potency and toxicity in its venom 
However, not much is known about its actual bite and what its effects would be because number one, these spiders are so rare, people rarely ever interact with this species. And two, in general, just this species' biology is relatively unknown. It is believed that the red widow is a specialist feeder on scarab beetles because many times people find scarab beetle, scrub native scarab beetles like dung beetles and rainbow scarabs trapped in their webs. If you look at the habitat around us, this is all Florida scrub. And you can see all of these saw palmettos filling the ground. These are the species Saranoa repens. And these red widows almost exclusively live near the centers of these plants. Now you could tell when a red widow has made its web on these palm trees because they make a very loose kind of cobwebby shape around the edges of the palm tree. But inside, they have this really, really dense kind of conical web that they live all the way at the bottom. During the breeding season, you'll see their egg sacs, which are perfectly spherical, unlike the spiky balls of the brown widow. Now let's look at this pattern, this beautiful, unmistakable pattern. The red widow, like you might be able to tell by its name, is almost entirely red. Though the epistosoma, or that abdominal segment right there, is black with these beautiful white and red markings and a line running down the center of the epistosoma that is just made up of these beautiful red dots. This is just an unmistakable species. There is nothing else you could really mistake for a red widow. Now, the red widow is endemic to Florida. That means that you can only find red widows in Florida, and specifically in these Florida scrub habitats in central Florida and northern South Florida. They just barely extend their way into South Florida. They are mostly a central Florida species, being able to be found along the northern part of the Atlantic Coastal Ridge, as well as the central Florida's Lake Wales Ridge and around the Ocala area. You will not be able to find this species anywhere else in the entire world. So just seeing one is a super unlikely occurrence and being able to handle one is an even more unlikely occurrence. Now let's put this guy back in the web. All right, children, you can see her web right here. We are just going to release this gorgeous red widow spider right back where I found her. If you enjoyed coming along with me and learning all about the red widow spider, then make sure to check out last week's video right here where we do the same with the brown widow spider. And I'll see you guys next week when we finally compare all three species, the red, brown, and black widow. Enjoy!